keep saying, are you ready to go live? Are you ready to go live? Click this, click this, click this. I'm like, yes. How many times do I have to click it? Yes, I'm ready to go live. Well, sort of. But I was wondering if it's asking me that because I don't have any makeup on today. I just couldn't be bothered, kids. I just don't want to wear makeup today. Um, but I did, I do want to come on and say, see how's everybody's doing. I'm seeing some posts and I'm worried about some of you guys. What's going on? What's happening? Sounds like people are having a hard time. I have friends who've got COVID and they're not doing well. And I'm really worried about them. I'm worried about you. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Val. <laughs> That's fine that I don't have makeup on, Ian. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm clean. Oh, John, you didn't put yours on either. <laughs> hey, John, did you see that I, I got in touch with um, TJ? Did I say the right things? I sent you an email. Hey, Tim. Hi, Rick. Good morning from Calgary. Wow. You're not, Scott? You didn't put it on either? That's, well, you know, we all need a day off from our makeup. <laughs> I don't wear makeup every day. The charity is coming along really nicely, Brian. Thank you so much. Um, we're we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's going to be an update, I think, uh, this weekend. There's always an update on the weekend. So whenever Heather is um, Apple Elf, I'm putting this on a different platform. So there we go. It's a little better. I think the lighting will be a little better. I'm just I'm just behind everything. We had fires overnight. Oh, I'm sorry, Ian. Shoot. That sucks. Hi, David in Virginia. Rod. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. Yeah, I know. I know, Victoria. So. Hi, Jan. Nice to see you. Yes. Happy birthday, David. I, I'm turning, I just turned 63. Keep getting confused as to how old I am. Yeah, a lot of people getting COVID. I had some friends get COVID um, because they went to a, I think they went to a, a Thanksgiving thing. And then I saw another friend posting that her friends got COVID at a Thanksgiving thing. Hey, Avery, how are you? I'm sorry you're not feeling awesome. Um, yeah, so folks, this 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 COVID thing is really serious. Please don't do it. Don't do it. We don't have it under control. We do not. It's and we're going and you know the experts are saying it's even worse. Now, I believe that I've got more people with COVID in my life than ever before. I go to the store and I feel so unsafe. I see people wearing their masks like this. You know, it's like, and I've I got people. I, I see people just wearing the little cloth masks. Those masks are not good enough. You need a, you need one of those N95s or KN95s. So please, yes, I was Rod. I was the werewolf mom. Yeah. Well, it was a while ago, David, but I was just um, I was commiserating with you turning sixty. So hang in there, dude. It's all good. No, I've never worked with Christopher Palmer. Boy, would I like to? Wouldn't that be amazing? So you guys, I'm going to put something in the chat. Let's see if it, if I can cut and paste it. Woohoo! There we go. If, okay. Ooh, there we go. I'd, um. So, uh, wow. Yes. Could you please um share that for me? Let's get the share army out. I really need you all to share this stuff for me. So I put together some posts in case you can. And there's there's posts on my um on my Facebook pages that you can save the photo and share that meme around. I would really appreciate it. And you can write this in your own words, right? So you can put your own words to any of that. But um, it really helps because Facebook sees that the, the that my post is getting shared and then um, it puts it out there even more. So share army, the charmy. <laughs> um, that's good. That's good. I know, Brian, that's the thing. I we, People are being really not considerate 
of what it's like for folks in the medical industry. So please be considerate because people are struggling and, and our, our, our medical community is struggling to keep up and they're exhausted and they're getting sick. So please, please be considerate for each other. And I know that so many people think that they're young and they're not going to get this and they do. There was a 14 year old girl who died in Michigan, I think last week, 14, and she died from COVID. That's not talking about people who are just still getting sick from COVID. And, um, I, I just want you to be safe. I just want you to be okay. And I want you to understand this is this is really very serious and we're going into a really tough time because people want to be together and we've been in lockdown for too long. Hey, Mags. And I know it's hard. It's really hard. So we're going to try to, I, I hopefully we'll have a free event up by the end of this month. Um, I'm talking to some people about it. So we're going to try to, you know, to put stuff online and just keep communicating. When a six-year-old died of COVID. See you guys, please. Yeah. Avery's 21 and she's, Avery, how long have you had COVID? She's been sick and still dealing with symptoms months later. And she has friends that are getting sick. So please, young people can get this too and, and they can spread it. So please, it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. It's just take it, take time to stay at home and and you know be really clean when you go to the store you come back oh my god i had to go to the store because of penny lane and i just don't want to i order everything online right now if i can but i have to go and i like i said i see people picking up stuff and looking at it putting it back now it's got whatever they've touched it's all over the product you know so don't touch shit you don't need it okay avery's had this for four months four months. So please be safe. Please be safe. Please be safe. Yes, Tim. And, and you know what? We So we can't get together for Christmas this year. I'd rather get together next year and have everybody there and not somebody sick. I'm not sure, Patricia. I am so overwhelmed right now, you guys. So if you've sent me shit and I haven't responded, please forgive me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, Mags. But we want to be able to get together next year and have nobody missing because they died of this fucking COVID shit. So please, please be safe and do what you can to be safe and keep and to keep your spirits up. Yeah. Ah, oh, Neil, I'm so sorry. Eleven months now, and see that's the thing. It's it's uh, they they're looking at a gene. I gotta find this 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 uh, report so that we can share it. But the uh, there is a they're discovering that there's a gene that can be activated by COVID. So even if you don't have an uh, you don't have a chronic autoimmune issue now, the COVID can trigger it, and then you will going forward for the rest of your life. Yes. Exactly, Rod. So let us talk together. Um, when we have like next Saturday is Armin Shimmerman's event on the 12th, and we're going to have an open house at nine o'clock for everyone just to come and hang out together. And Armin will join us at 10. So that's that's what I wanted to do so that we had we have some community time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick up and put back for 50 years. Well, John, but we didn't have COVID. So now we've got COVID. All right. And that is, it's not a joke. Yeah. Right. And everyone who does have to work and people who do have to work at the stores and you see people who come in and they're wearing their masks. So they get through the security and then they start walking through the store and they either, they hang it off their ear or whatever. It's just, it's not good. So please. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have some, we'll be able to be, together again just for right now please be safe and it's really you know this time of year is just going to be tough so i want you to be around and and us to hang out you know i want us to be able to go to conventions again and right you know it yeah so please be safe to, please be safe 
Be safe for you. Be, be safe for your families. Be safe for your friends. And, and inspire others to be safe. Don't let people get away with being stupid. It's not worth it. All right. So that's that. But Armin's coming in. And do you have any questions for me about Armin? I, right now, we have the early bird sale going on. The tickets prices go up in a few days. So grab your tickets. B5events.com. I know. Uh, B5events.com. And we can uh, hang out together in the beginning. Armin's going to take some volunteers. So what we're going to do is you'll get an email from me next week. Everyone who, who bought a ticket will get an email from me. And I will uh, let you know how you can volunteer. And when you volunteer, we're going to just randomly choose some people. And then um, Armin's going to be sending those folks some lines from Shakespeare. And you don't have to be an actor. This is not about a, a performance. What it is is a chance for people to hear Armin as a as an acting teacher and a coach talk to people about interpreting Shakespeare and making Shakespeare um, fun and and wonderful. Armin is a director. He's a, obviously he's an amazing actor, but he's also an accomplished director and stage actor. So, oh, good. Good, Patricia. Thank you. Um, no, he was not on B5, David. Hi, Adrian. So if you are interested, check out the tickets. Uh, I picked up B5 and Apple. Oh, good. Oh, good, James. How cool. Thanks, Avery. Avery just plugged in the direct link to buy the tickets. So, um, all right. Well, Owen, I hope everything, you know, COVID's not going away. So unless people have had uh, a vaccine or some sort of treatment, uh, I, we're, we're never going to be able to gather the same way again. So please be careful. And I, I'm not planning anything until we get, we get some safety um, guarantees. Like I'm just not going to bring people together in person until I know everyone can be safe. I think we really need to be careful about that. Oh, thanks, Roger. B5 is pretty cool. I'm lucky to be a part of it. So please do show up and it's, please do grab those tickets, early bird tickets. And the price is going to go up 10 bucks. And um, it, it's really, really good. Good price. And this is a, a, this is a $10 less than my other tickets have been. So, um, you know, I really, I need you guys to also share this around because I'd like to keep doing these online things, but I'm not making any money on it. <laughs> it's exhausting. And it's really, you know, <laughs> it's okay if I don't make a lot of money. That's not what I'm out for, but I really do. I have to pay my actors. I have to pay my team. I have to pay for all the apps that, it, the, you know, the active campaign and Zoom and everything. Um, it gets ex very expensive and time consuming. So I need you guys to, to, uh, to do a little bit of um, groundwork for me and share, just share, like, and share, like, and share, like, and share. Commenting's great too. Uh, putting it in your, putting it into your groups, your sci-fi groups. If you've got a Deep Space Nine group that you're in, or even a, any sci-fi group, make sure that they're cool with you sharing it, of course. But, um, you, you know, liking and sharing is, is huge, huge. And I really appreciate it. So Sarah Secco, who um, it has been, um, sharing, she won a ticket to Armin for free because she shared so much for when we were doing Tim Russ's. So um, it really, really does help. And um, I appreciate it so, so much. Really do. You guys are awesome. Okay. Thanks, David. <laughs> um. And I appreciate you letting me know that. That's awesome. So you guys, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I appreciate that, April. That's great. Yeah, in your gaming groups. That's too. That's true too. And thanks, Max. You're really awesome about sharing, and I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Yes, April. You're right. Don't forget the gamers. Oh no, I I would never forget the gamers. It's an important part of the community, isn't it? 
So um, what else, what are you planning for this weekend? I'm doing all Penny Lane all the time. You should see my house. It's a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh my God, it's crazy. So we're just, uh, you know, I'm making my family put bows and ribbons on things. And um, yeah, and then I have to go out and buy stuff upon occasion. And I don't want to do that because I don't want to get COVID. <laughs> I don't want to give COVID anyone. <sighs> I really miss traveling. I wish we could. A little bit of sleep, Val. I still need more. Hey, Jay. Appreciate it. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, excellent. Oh, Patricia, very good for you. Yeah, I mean, if you find a, a show that makes you happy and, and it keeps your spirits up, that's a really important thing to do. That's a really important thing to do. Keep your spirits up, whatever it takes. Um, do do good things for yourself be in touch with your friends you know just touch base with your friends and make sure everyone's okay just even a text right i mean even just a text can make people feel so good they get a text from you saying hey thinking about you that's so good ah uh, our revels are now ended kirk well for the moment uh, and we can revel online. Um, John has been awesome about having, you know, fun. He did a fun birthday party thing. And I was so clever. Uh, hello to Britannia. <laughs> Hi, Dark. Yeah. You know, so take care of each other and and uh, go buy your tickets to see Armin. And then we'll have a, an, an early... Um, get together an open house where we can hang out together and uh, chat amongst ourselves. And then, uh, oh, that's good. Thank you, Avery. Avery's so good about that. And we also have a Discord channel, right? That keeps that we talk um, during the events. Should you do a holiday one? Yes, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I you know what? Let's talk be, before you plan it because I've got um there's going to be a free event coming up that I don't want it to conflict with your event. So, let's talk before you plan it. Um it's a uh it's going to be like the Roswell Awards. It's going to be some celebrities doing some readings. Um it's to to for the Roswell Awards to raise the last bit of money they're still trying to raise but the event will be free and people can donate but it'll be celebrities doing some readings which was so great last time it was so good live dirt free I don't put I don't put anything on my skin Samantha I just wear some mascara and stuff sometimes but um I also I just think it's the, there's there Avery just posted the B5 event server for the discord you any of you discord channel folks um well that, that doesn't prevent some politicians from wearing makeup because you're because you're a guy but I appreciate you not wearing makeup nah it's nice <laughs> can I bring the parrots to the holiday events um of course you can uh, what am I thinking about January and February? Well, Johanna, I was thinking about um, a couple of celebrity friends. Oh, we got a delivery. I'm, I'm getting deliveries like every hour because I've ordered so much stuff online for the Penny Lane kids. Um, I'm just waiting to hear back from some people. And then, I, and also, to be honest, I'm wondering if I want to keep this going. Uh, I, um, I want to know, you know, if you guys think that this B5 events thing is great, I hope you buy tickets because it's hard to keep this going. You know, it's great to have the actors here and they're all awesome, but the work that goes into it is kind of stunning. <laughs> it was, <laughs> uh, I don't, okay, I don't know. All right, you guys. All right, so I just wanted to let you know. I ask you to to um, I put that copy in there. Should I do it again? I'll do it again. Please uh, do some posts, like and share. Really appreciate it. And um, you could take that that copy, that text that I just plugged in, and you can use it however you want. You know, like like put your own words to it if that helps. And then um, you can put in. 
there's yeah, Jay, I pay people for that. And so I have to make money to pay to pay them. You can't just delegate it. You got to do it. And, you know, even though I pay folks, I still have to oversee everything and make sure that we're all in alignment. It takes a lot of planning. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Victoria. Yeah, that's awful. Um, yeah, okay, good. Well, thanks. Thanks, kids. You guys are um, really wonderful, and I always appreciate it. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate you sharing this. And that, like I said, that there's images that are on the B5 events pages or they're on the um, the fan page and you guys can save them and use them. Donate to that. Uh, oh, to, to Penny Lane. Yes, you can donate all year round to Penny Lane. Absolutely, Brian. Is that if I'm assuming that's what you're talking Hey, Chava, nice to see you. Hey, Mickey. Nice to see you. Um, okay, I guess that's all I got to say. <laughs> Thank you. Like and share. Like and share. <laughs> Hi, Radislav. Good to see you. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Uh, uh, n no, because we're not we're not doing. It's not a SAG event. It's this is a different kind of. It's a publicity event. Really. Dad, a good question. Hi, Ian. All right, you guys, be well, stay safe. Don't ignore the COVID issue. Please keep yourself safe. I want to be able to see you at a convention as soon as possible. <laughs> oh, I've been on. I've been on. I've been chatting away for 20 minutes, though. Uh, can't my advertise on the lurker's guide? Um, I, uh, I don't know. I, it, do you mean pay for advertising? Yeah, I don't want to do that. You know, the budget in this is just nuts. All right. Oh, Mags. Um, I miss you. I want to be able to come and see you. Hey, Damon in UK. I, I wish I could be there. Mm. All right, guys. Love you. Be really good. Have a wonderful weekend. And maybe I'll pop back in on the weekend when you show you what I'm doing with Penny Lane. Okay. Bye.